Star Wars Episode Nine is going to suck. Here is why. What's up, Raiders? It's your boy Groovinator from RaidersLostFlix.com. How you doing today? Uh, we need to talk about no more lightsabers. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker will reportedly see the end of Sith and Jedi. So let's go through the article first this time, and then we'll talk about it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Every time you subscribe to my channel, an angel gets its wings. Every time you like on one of my videos, it's one baby Jeebus. All right. So anyways, uh, moving on in a galaxy far, far away. You know how it all goes by now, except maybe you don't. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker is promising to shake things up in a big way, and a new rumor is believed is to be believed. No more Sith, no more Jedi, and potentially, if that rings true, no more lightsabers. It's looking like the triple trilogy topper that is Star Wars Episode Nine will end more than you bargain for come December, including thousands of years of conflict between the yin and the yang of the Star Wars universe. You probably already witnessed the massive Vanity Fair blowout reveal of Star Wars Episode Nine. But tucked away in the piece of Lev Grossman is an interesting tidbit from an unnamed source. Sources close to the movie say that Skywalker will at long last bring to a climax the millennial-long conflict between the Jedi Order and its dark shadow, the Sith. This, that certainly adds a whole new meaning to the subtitle Rise of Skywalker, and one that's been thrown about across forums by water coolers and everywhere else. You won't get glared out for geeking out about Star Wars. This is such cringy bullshit. The Jedi and Sith are, at least the concept of them, maybe no more. In its place, the Rise of Skywalker, legend as one of unifying force, pun absolutely intended. If... We're to believe the report, it would absolutely mark the biggest change in Star Wars history since Darth Vader told Luke who his, his real pappy was. The idea Sith and Jedi have been around, chronologically speaking, since back in the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and never seemed like going to the way of the space doo-doo. Wow, this guy wrote this? Okay, it also ups the stakes of the final movie, considering if an institution like the Jedi can fall, then no one is really safe. Just how far are J.J. Abrams and company willing to leave their mark on Star Wars? We'll find out soon enough. Well, we already know that recently Jar Jar Abrams has stated that, fuck it. He's basically said, fuck it. He's just going to do whatever this time because it's his last movie. He doesn't give a shit. Disney obviously doesn't give a shit. I also highly recommend that you subscribe to the world class bullshitters. That's right. You heard that right. World class bullshitters. Uh, Jeff Hicks made a fantastic video about Jar Jar Abrams recently saying fuck it to the next Star Wars because that's exactly what that franchise needs. And yes, that is sarcasm. It does not need that at all. All right. Star Wars is absolutely fucked. The whole universe is fucked. No thanks to uh, Ryan Johnson for making the worst movie in the franchise's history. Seriously, people are now praising The Phantom Menace. So that's pretty much the only thing that Ryan Johnson has done is he's made people appreciate Jar Jar Binks and The Phantom Menace because The Last Jedi is that bad. No more lightsabers? Let me ask you this, Disney. Why are you really not wanting the lightsabers? Is it because Hasbro made the Darth Vader uh, uh, builder kits? Uh, let me see if I can find one of these. You know what I'm talking about. The builder kits, okay? Uh, yeah, Star Wars builder kit, uh, lightsaber builder kits. Okay, uh, yeah. So y you might remember these things. All right, seeing them in the stores. The builder kits, you know, build your own lightsaber. These things were like stuffed on the shelves and did not move at all during the uh, the entire run of uh, The Last Jedi. These things were piled to the ceiling. The build your own lightsaber kits, they were a complete commercial disaster, okay? So is that why you're phasing lightsabers out? The thing is, and this is why... My fortune teller senses are telling me that this movie is going to suck, all right? It's coming out in November, which another movie that's probably going to suck, Terminator, is also coming out. Um, 
There's also some other sucky movies coming out. But anyways, Star Wars is going to suck because nobody on this channel ever watches my Star Wars videos. Because people are just not freaking interested in Star Wars anymore. The Last Jedi was that devastating of a blow. It basically divided the fandom completely. It, there are people on both sides at each other's throats over a franchise that usually people that disagreed about things like politics or other things... <laughs> could normally agree on over Star Wars. Now there's this divide. Yes, there were some arguments about the pre uh, the, the, the prequels, but the truth is, is most Star Wars fans showed up for the prequels and fucking nobody showed up for Solo, a Star Wars sorry. Okay, so Solo, Solo, a Star Wars sorry. I'm to quote Ethan Van Skyver. But anyway, yeah, so this is what's happening. My thing is, is... Why even do this? Why even call it Star Wars? Why even make a movie if this is what you're going to do? People, if this is not proof that Star Wars has become a lifeless, soulless logo under Disney's management, I don't know what is. Anyways, argue with me in the comics, dis er, comments, dislike on the video, like the video, please subscribe to my channel for more obnoxious videos like this one. You guys have yourselves a groovy day, and this is the Groovinator signing out. Peace.